When defining our H tags, it is a common misconception that the H1 tag um, should be applied to text that you want to make larger. And as we can see on this example here, the H1 tag makes the text a lot larger than, say, the H2 tag on the HTML output. However, this is because the H1 tag and the H2 tag have default set sizes. So by default, the H1 tag is larger than the default H2. And because of this, it's a common misconception that the H1 tag is related to size, when in fact, the H1 tag is related to importance. And as we know, the H tags go from one to six, one being the most important and six being the least important. If we don't define the H tags clearly, Google won't be able to understand our content and it will affect our SEO score. So remember when setting H tag values that the value relates to the importance. So how do we change font size? Well, the font size property looks like this. And there are two distinct ways of setting up the font size value. The first is absolute size. Now, absolute size means that your font typography will stay the same in any web browser. Unfortunately, this isn't too good for your website's accessibility. The second is relative size. And this is much better for your user's accessibility. It means that your visitors can adjust the typography font size on the page and make the text bigger or smaller. There are many different ways to set your font size on your page. And in this bit, we're going to look at pixels. So the pixel value refers to pixels on the screen itself. And this is highlighted with a number as shown with the letters PX. The larger the pixels are, the larger your text will be. The next value we're going to look at is the EM value. Now, developers do often lean towards this more because it is more adjustable in browser windows. One EM value relates to 16 pixels. And as you can see from this graph, individual H tags have a default EM property. Just like when setting the pixel value, we can see here that setting the EM value works in a very similar way. The difficulty with the EM value is that different web browsers use slightly different pixel counts. And what this means is that in different browsers, your text may look slightly larger or slightly smaller. And the way developers get around that is by setting the body value within the CSS. So as we can see here, we set the body value as 100%, and then we define our H1 tags and our H2 tags EM value. Next, we're going to look at responsive font. Now, responsive font is really important because if you set a EM value or a pixel value in browser and it's, it's say, 100 pixels, um, when you look at it in mobile, those 100 pixels will take up the whole screen and it will look a complete mess. So we need to make sure that our font text and our font size is scalable. So when we adjust these um, diameters of the window, the text scales and keeps in proportion. And this is defined with the VW symbol. VW stands for viewport width. And this refers to the length of your browser. So whether your browser is, say, a full screen size, over 1,000 pixels, or whether it's shrunk down to, say, 200, 300 pixel sizes, it means that your text will scale accordingly. So let's look at how to work out your VW value. So say your window screen is a hundred centimeters. The VW value will work out that hundred percent of that window screen is hundred centimeters, which means that one centimeter equals one VW value, being one percent. So if we look at our example here, we can see the VW setting is set to seven, which means that if our window is hundred centimeters, our text will be seven centimeters in width. If we scale that down to 50 centimeters, then our text size will be 3.5 centimeters. So that's how you define the size of text using HTML and CSS. Now try taking the quiz below 
and playing around with some of the uh, font sizes in the HTML box and see how that changes the font size on the output.